Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Morgan from My Little Homeschool in the Woods, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a math update, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so I realized I really haven't updated you guys on what we are using for our math curriculum this year. Um, I did my curriculum videos, which everything, pretty much everything has changed since those curriculum videos. So sorry about that if you came here from those videos and now everything's flip-flopped on you guys. Yes, everything is pretty much different from what I said back then. I switched um, from doing mostly the good and the beautiful to mostly doing gather round, if you've seen any of my latest videos. And so um, our math has changed too because I was going to be doing the good and the beautiful and trying out like simply good and beautiful. Um, but I just didn't, I don't know. I think it was just too much for us. It's, I want something much more simple and laid back. And so right now I'm still trying to work out some of the details on everything, but I'm going to share with you guys what we're currently using and how it's working. So here we go. All right, so my kindergartner was going to be using the Good and the Beautiful's Level K, the old version I had bought um, when they put all their old version on sale for like $25 a set. So I bought those and that's what we were going to use for him, but I wound up selling it before we started using it except for the activity box. I actually kept the activity box just because um, there's lots of fun games in there and things to do. So like on fun days we'll just we're gonna pull those out which I should have got that down. Okay so I got the activity box. I'm not prepared guys. But anyway this is the old activity box that used to come with their uh, sets and I got rid of the course books and just he is going to be using some of this just for mainly play. It comes with all kinds of uh, different things. Um, little, I don't remember what you call those. It has a calendar. It has all kinds of really fun games in it. So this is just something we're going to be doing uh, for fun. It's not necessarily something we do every day. Um, there's just all kinds of really cool manipulatives. So I didn't want to get rid of any of this in case we wanted to use it. So I did keep this. But his math curriculum is actually part of Burrows and Holes. It has math built in. Um, from Gather Round we're using this. Um, and it, come, it does like a math page every day. Um, so like addition. It has graphing. It's done. Let me see if I can find some more. But it's kind of all in one, so I didn't really need to have the other because it would have been way too much. But this is what he's working on right now. He is just he got just got to book B in the student book. So he loves burrows and holes. Um, sometimes he wants to do two lessons. He's he's loving this so far. So if you've got a kindergartner, I really highly recommend this. It's just so much fun. Um, a lot of stuff to cut out and make your own little books and different things. So this is what he is using for math. Alright, for my second grader, what we were going to do was also the good and the beautiful. But, um, I don't know, I just had a feeling that it wasn't going to be a right fit because of all of the stuff that had to be done with the good and the beautiful and I have four kids and getting everything done with them was very stressful for me and I could foresee that it was going to be that way if I went with the good and the beautiful. If you are using the good and the beautiful, um, that's awesome. Like just do what works for you. Don't just, you know, think I'm downing everything. I'm not downing them. I have used them for things and love them, you know, but I don't know. I just didn't want to go with the math and like their main curriculum with the good and the beautiful. So, you know, anyway, moving on. What my second grader um, is using is a Becca grade two. He did grade one last year and um, he does really well with a Becca and it doesn't take a really long time to get through the lessons. Um, it only takes him maybe 15 minutes, probably less. 
but he goes through this really quick and it's not overwhelming for either of us so that's why I went ahead and got him book two and that's what we're using right now I did also keep the math uh, manipulatives manipulatives from the good and the beautiful um, because if we want to use them for games and there's a lot of really neat stuff um, I gotta find it was a measuring tape he might already have that out but there's just cool things like fraction pieces I'm not sure what that's for I don't know different manipulatives and then here's like base 10 bricks and has all these different games that you can do for math so I just wanted to keep these as a way to just try to make math a little more fun for them instead of it just being book work so it's one of those things that it, you know it doesn't have to be done it's just more for fun so I kept that and that is what he's using right now for math and I don't have anything to show you for the girls because my girls are both actually working on teaching textbooks on the computer it's um I got the latest edition that you the subscription that you get 4.0 or something like that but anyway I went ahead and got my sixth grader on teaching textbook six I did the um, assessment and that is where she tested so she is actually doing um, math six from teaching textbooks right now it is going really good um we have tried it in the past and she's she doesn't like um, being on the computer she likes books but we were doing um a becca level six that's what we started with this year and we could tell right away that it was not going to work out so we went ahead and tried to switch things up um a becca when it gets a little bit older it seems to be much more um i don't know much more intensive so we switched it up with teaching textbooks and I told her I want you to try it for at least a year to see how it goes because I'm not gonna spend the whole year buying different stuff I can't do that so we're going with teaching textbooks for her now my fourth grader is um, trying out level three on the free trial and we will try out level four on the th free trial because I'm not really sure where she's at right now um, because math is so hard for her um, I'm gonna try her out on both levels to see how well she does if there is an assessment I'll probably do the assessment as well um, yeah so I'm not sure where we're at with her right now but that is what we're trying out right now so yeah that is math for us this year guys kind of all over the place I know but I'm just trying to find what works for our kids um, because they're all so different. I have kids who love math. I have kids who hate math. Um, so it's been a lot of work trying to figure out what's going to work for them. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, if you have any like recommendations for a kid who struggles really bad with math, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments for me because I would love to hear any suggestions you guys have. and. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will subscribe and stick around for more videos in the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.